guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a bit of a catch up with a couple that I have talked about prior. Now I've made two videos in total, I believe about this couple and I'll link them down below if you wanna catch up on the full thing. I highly suggest it because it's very entertaining because it's mostly a shit show in my opinion. So basically the gist is there's this couple who went viral that were a heavily tattooed couple who essentially put a GoFundMe out so they could travel the world. Well, one of their mothers, I can't remember if it was his or hers, worked two jobs in order to be able to help fund them on top of the GoFundMe. And when asked why they didn't get jobs, they pretty much said they weren't meant for normal jobs. <laughs> So don't get me wrong, they were completely able to get jobs. They were just opting not to get the jobs. Okay, so one brief thing I do wanna highlight that I forgot to mention prior is that the whole point of this bike ride journey, exploration of the universe, whatever, was to raise awareness for mental health. In none of their posts have they mentioned mental health really, so it's interesting that that was supposed to be the goal, but that's been kind of lost in translation, which I also think is why people are annoyed because they were pledging money for something that just simply hasn't occurred. So that's the basic gist of what you have to know about them before we get into the actual topic. But before I get into that, I did wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty has come out with a customized skincare. This was my first customizing skincare, and as someone with sensitive skin, I wanted to make sure I wouldn't irritate it. That's why the quiz was so well made, because I could completely customize it so it caters to my combination dry and oily skin, on which I often apply full coverage makeup. Interestingly, there are 3.1 billion formulas and combinations possible. On top of that, Function of Beauty never uses parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and is 100% vegan and cruelty-free. My personal skin goals were to hydrate, even tone, and tighten. So I got the moisturizer gel, the micellar gel, and the serum meant to be used between the cleanser and moisturizer. I chose for them to be fragranced because I typically enjoy that, and I also chose gels because I prefer the consistency over any other. Since using Function of Beauty, my skin has felt softer, and more hydrated, especially as it dries far more in the colder weather. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you have difficulty finding skincare that works with your skin. Get 20% off your order and a free selfie headband when you click the link below. Thank you again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. So let's get into it. Basically, I had no intention of revisiting this influencer couple. Someone messaged me being like, yo, you need to check out what they're up to. So lo and behold, I go to to check and there's Kat and Ellie. Ellie is the girl, Kat is the guy. All of these pictures show Kat as still traveling, which I was like, okay, you are traveling with other people's money in the middle of a pandemic while you're taking a vow of silence. Oh yeah, by the way, he took a vow of silence in March at the beginning of a pandemic when you're relying on other people's money and sometimes it might be short, that's a great time to take a vow of silence. So he took a vow of silence and he's still traveling in the middle of a pandemic. So just imagine not being able to speak to people and also being short on money and needing to stay at people's houses. Like to me, that seems so, I think this is irresponsible to begin with, but on top of it being hosted in people's houses, it seems irresponsible because you're traveling all over the place. You don't know what you're bringing into people's houses, especially if you're asymptomatic but let's just keep going. So basically, a lot of people were really, really mad about one single post, and frankly, I can understand why on top of everything, because to be fair, I think a lot of people have a lot of rage towards him, because Ellie, by the way, no longer travels with him. She's apparently studying or writing her first book, so she's no longer in the picture, literally, she's no longer in the picture. Some people were theorizing that, of course, she would not wanna stay with him considering they're traveling by themselves and he took a vow of silence, so it must be very lonely for her. That's what people were theorizing. I just thought I'd throw it out there. One of the recurring themes with them traveling, just Kat in this situation, is that there is no research done on where they're going. Absolutely no research, because had Kat done, like, 20 seconds of research, he would have known this was not the move. So Kat ends up in Cortina. Cortina is an area in Italy that is notoriously expensive. It's extremely bougie. It's known to be a ski resort. You don't just go there. You don't just like happen to be there. Like if you go there, you go with a reason in the same way that you don't happen to just happen at the Four Seasons. You go there because you booked a room, but you wouldn't just walk in there, expect it to be cheap and complain when it's not. Does that make sense? That's pretty much what Kat 
that ended up doing. He ended up in Cortina because he's biking around again on people's dime as usual because no jobs can be taken. That's apparently illegal. What he ended up doing pissed off a lot of people. So as you guys know, in a lot of countries and cultures, there are wishing fountains, you know, where you turn around, throw the fucking coin in the fountain and make a wish. It's very much culturally inappropriate for you to go into the fountain and take out the coins, right? Because people throw them in, not for you to take them out, but as a symbolic gesture so their wish can come true. Cat took it upon himself to do exactly that. In none other than Cortina, a bougie place, okay? Went to fill up my water bottles and saw all these coins in the fountain. This is in the middle of a town called Cortina, a town surrounded by beautiful mountains. It's touristy town and not a cheap one. If you'd Googled it, you would have known and you could have gone a place that is more affordable. That's the thing that bothers me about all this is that if they had just simply budgeted, they wouldn't find themselves in these dire situations consistently, but they never even look things up. They never budget, they never plan. And it's like, things won't just go according to how you want them to with no pre... Okay. Seen more designer bags swinging around here than any other place I can remember. The first day I took water and left. The next I filled my bottles, pulled up my sleeve and started picking up the coins. The water was cold. Coin after coin, I kept going in. At one point my hand went numb and I couldn't pinch the coins at the bottom anymore. So I pulled up my other sleeve and back at it until every single coin was out. People walking past and looking, I just smiled. The police drove past once, then a second time, and then stopped for a few seconds. I just carried on and they drove off. Took me about an hour, and in total I picked up five euros and 10 cents. This is easily going to feed me for a day. People can say what they like. I have friends have been around many who work a full day for less than this. Humans who only have bread with oil to eat and choose to share it. So if people want to throw their money, I'll gladly pick it up. At the point I am in life now, I rather accept donations, accept help from my mama. I never asked her for a cent and know she hasn't worked two jobs for over a year, still my biggest supporter, eat food others throw away, pick up coins out of a fountain, and continue to explore the world rather than steal, sell drugs, or be miserable doing something I hate. I'm grateful for the life I get to live and make my decisions consciously. Whether you've got a designer bag on your shoulder or only a slice of bread to eat, from my end, it's love. There are two sides to a coin. Wish you all a great day. This is quite a loaded post, to be honest, from mentioning designer bags, which I don't really understand the purpose of because you could easily go to another city considering that he's picking where he ends up. But people in the comments were not happy about this at all. People are saying you stole coins. This is rude. I was intrigued by you, but now like I understand why people don't like you. People were really not happy about it simply because it's not just the question of stealing coins from a fountain, but it's more the question of you have the opportunity to get a job. You are capable of getting a job, but you're choosing not to. So this situation you find yourself in, it feels like often he acts like this is just his fate, when in reality it's like you could have had a job, saved the money, and then traveled and not found yourself in these dire situations all the time where you find yourself having to fish these coins out of the water. And it's also like you could if you scheduled in advance, you could see if you could find jobs in each place you'd stop at if you stop for like a month or so in each place, or you could maybe find a way to telecommute, but it's not easy to find a job that's granted, but if you don't even try, obviously it's not just gonna fall in your lap. And I think that's really what people are angry about. And granted, if you choose to give this person your money, that's entirely your prerogative, but it's also really entitled to expect people to give you money for what do they get back really? They see a couple pictures of you traveling. For some people that might be worth it. So here there's another post where he kind of addresses why Ellie isn't there and he addresses that he's biking around alone because prior he was biking around, like I said, with a significant other. Go fund me. 7,500 kilometers took us from Germany to Mauritania. We returned from Africa, but the journey continues. This time I start the ride on the tandem alone from the middle of Germany, leaving an open seat for people to join along the way. Destinations, Austria, Northern Italy, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey, Iran, a couple of other places, but need to see with visas, that won't be the end. No time limit, I'll be taking work opportunities volunteering as well as parking the bike and hiking in the mountains, getting lost out in nature. I will flow my way there. Elena remains in Germany. She's working towards what she loves. How often we see each other is a mystery. On Instagram, people can follow the progress if they wish and slowly but surely our website will be running. Where those interested and with the attention span longer than a double click, we'll be able to dive deeper into this life of ours. We do what we love and choose to share it with you just like everyone in social media comes with its lessons. I've learned how to make money using my tattoos by advertising others products. That's something I wanna stay away from now. We have been on the back end of keyboard warriors, but I've also 
also made many great connections and received plenty of good information. We live in the age of information. However, it's hard to differentiate between what's real and what's not. The internet is an easy place to get lost in and discourage about the world situation. I share my experiences on here with honesty and will continue to do so. Don't believe what I say, figure it out for yourself. This is why I choose to be on the road, exploring this planet and the people to learn firsthand the struggle, the joy, the nature, the culture, the constant adaptation. I feel so alive, there's so much beauty in the world. With about 400 euros a month, sometimes less, sometimes more, I can be out there full time. That includes nutrition accommodation when needed, visas, internet costs, and everything else that will pop up. Money is a sensitive topic. I don't expect anything from this post. If you donate or not, continued in the comments. Just simply sharing some water if you see me on the road, a couch, some space in the garden for the tent, a connection or tips to help me on the journey, I'm great for it all. Happy with nothing, happy with everything. Recently I've upgraded a lot of the gear and will now be able to explore in harsher conditions. I'm 100% all in and have been. The consistency of my posting will depend on different factors. Whether I'm in the mountains hiking or just need my space from all input that comes with being on social media, I stopped speaking in the Sahara Desert over six months ago and will continue traveling without speaking with love on the road and then the PayPal. Like I said before, if people want to donate, that is entirely their prerogative. I do have to say that in the midst of COVID, this seems entirely in appropriate and just overall irresponsible, let alone that this is a person, like I said, who's going to home to home saying that he's being hosted and things like that. So it's not even a question of whether he gets sick. It's a question of who he gets sick along the way, along with the fact that taking a vow of silence while you're traveling through countries, I think that it's also irresponsible considering how little we've seen in the past that this person ever really looks into the countries or areas that they're going in, even as recently as Cortina. And maybe in Europe that'll fly, but I actually am concerned about what will happen if you don't look up anything about going to Iran and you're just gonna bike around hoping for the best. That's gonna be a very different experience than in Europe because I think that if you're European like I am, there's a grasp, a general grasp of cultures. Like they are different, sure, but there are a lot of similarities. Going to somewhere completely different, even like when they went to Mauritania, it's, I don't know, I find that concerning and I especially find it, like I said, irresponsible because of COVID. But I just wanted to give that little update because it seems like things are slowly devolving, especially if you get to the point where you essentially have to take coins from a fountain as opposed to actually taking jobs, which, he said he does, but it appears not because he said that the 400 euros were from donations. So I'm confused. I don't really know what they're going for at this point because it seems like it would be better off to save money and then travel, especially even just for the sake of safety. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.